Well, Brian, happening today, several local agencies are partnering up to host a community-wide discussion about ending youth homelessness. Now, many of the homeless young adults you see now were once in juvenile justice, in the foster care system. A big step toward helping Austin's younger homeless population is finding affordable housing. And some young people who've lived on the street say that opportunity can make all the difference. Lyric Wardlow is a professional homelessness advocate. It's a really kind of complex situation when you have different populations experiencing homelessness. I think service providers and the homeless response system tries its best to serve people, but they are limited in what they can do, the bureaucracy of it all. And the collective is not a bureaucracy. We're not a part of that, that red tape. We're our own group. We have lived experience and we've been through a lot of these struggles that people are going through. And when these things aren't discussed, um, you create barriers to people accessing your service. I know, as a person with lived expertise, when I'm in a space that it does make a difference. No one knows what somebody needs on the streets better than somebody who's been on the street. The Austinian Collective is a group of young people who have lived experience across multiple systems, including foster care, juvenile justice, and street dependency. Initially, the, the start was to bring an end to youth homelessness, right? And as our work has evolved and they, they did so much there, now it's really young folks who are advocating for systems level change. We give advice and ideas to, to better improve how the system goes about handling people like us. We're not run by someone who tells us, you need to care about this, you should prioritize this. this is our decision to be a part of the process, and we're not just gonna nod our heads and say yes to everything, we're going to be a little bit different. Part of what Youth Voices is a redistribution of power to bring in young people to have decision-making power and be at decision-making tables. You can't have a person-first service without involving that person. And if you don't have a person-first service, People are not going to be treated as people, and they're gonna fall through cracks. I didn't have to go to school to gather this knowledge. I, I just gained it from living it. It's frustrating to go into a room full of people who are college educated um, and be like, this is so obvious to me, but you never had to eat out of a dumpster. So, you know. This concept of youth voice means nothing about us without us. Summer then, I'm turning this back over to you because it looks like we're done with our group agreements. As we get new cool. collective members, the things that we care about change just because the experiences are different. But they've always been really, really consistent in terms of like bringing in a lot of um, passion and energy. The traveling community is a, a very intricate, very, very close community of people. These people brought me up out here, taught me how to be who I am out here. You can read about it all day long, but you don't really know anything about the true struggle behind it unless you actually go through it. To be able to live through that and be able to get through the obstacles and push myself to get past it and trying to remind myself daily that I'm a warrior even when I didn't want to be alive was just, is a testimony within itself. someone who doesn't have an experience in something, the questions that you ask are informed by that, and then the answers you get are informed by the questions you're asking, and so your blind spots remain blind spots. When you bring folks to the table, so often we want to like check boxes, right? We want to say like, oh, you know, we've got the person with lived experience, we've got the person of color, we've got the like queer person, like check, 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 right? When we're not in those spaces consistently, um, then the tokenization occurs more. And so yeah, when we talk about authentic engagement, it means really and truly honoring and holding space and treating each voice at the table with the same level of respect that's given to every voice at the table. And if you're not doing that, you're doing something wrong. There's definitely been a consistent push from that group of wanting to make a difference, wanting to see a difference, and pushing for that difference. It's heartbreaking to me that I need to be the person to make these changes, and it's exhilarating to see the changes being made. 
people flourish when they're allowed to stand up for themselves, when they're allowed to have a say and a buy-in and uh, confidence in their humanity. We're tired of sitting in spaces that are not available for us yet and are not ready for our opinion yet. And I hope that youth in the future will be in these spaces and maybe be like employees or the person making that decision or changing that policy themselves and not just helping alongside these, these, these people in leadership. Not only will that ha happen, but that has to happen. It's so easy to have people with lived experience part of the conversation. Where are the individuals experiencing homelessness currently and why aren't they already with you? The exact reason why Austin is struggling with homelessness is because we, we as a people have decided that it's not our problem. There are people who are going to go through the worst situations in life because we just don't have the ability to change um, and change quickly. A lot of people are hurting in this world right now. It just means a lot that I'm able to be able to share my ideas with, uh, with the AYC to be able to improve the systems in this world. From a different standpoint, it's not, all right, how can we get together to go in and make this money that we need for us to survive this day? It's how can we come together and change an entire system to work better for the people who are going to be using it? Wave a magic wand, of course, we want to see nobody outside tonight. In terms of being sure that we are not just like meeting our goals, but also meeting the goals in the ways that we want to for uh, our neighbors, AYC has been irreplaceable. Thank you.